why did I have children and why did I have this need for having children? <clears throat> Lately I've seen a lot of um, pregnant women and when women with little children in our village it's just like it's a baby boom but um, Oh, I'm thinking baby boom and um, well that's maybe logical because when there are dying a lot of people they're going to be born a lot of people so maybe that's the explanation for the baby boom but <clears throat> um, the question I was asking myself while seeing all these um, young couples was a question of blame why are they having children? Why are they having children is in a time like this? Why? And um, then I had to um, reflect this question back onto me because in blaming, I'm just saying <coughs> to myself, why did you have children? And that was the question I was asking. Why did I? Because when I 14 years ago had my first child, um, the world wasn't perfect. And um, the world was more like the same. <clears throat> so there was no reason to say, oh, the world is a beautiful place. Let's throw in a few kids. No, that wasn't like that. Um, <clears throat> So I, I started searching where these this needs of my came from. Because when I just looked at it in self-honesty, I, I not really could find a feeling, a feeling that was just moving me, me towards this um, decision. It was more like um, me not really being in, in my own body, but the or well, the body not, but me being directed by something else, as if it was pre-programmed, as if it was already, uh, the decision was already made when I was born, like something like that. That's how it felt, because I can clearly remember when um, my partner and I, we were not yet married, we were engaged, and um, <clears throat> We were on our way to Sardinia, on the ferry. I was looking over the sea and I was asking him if he wanted to have children. Because that was really important to me. <clears throat> and again, that was originated from not really a, a feeling, but more, more um, practical or just cold mathematical equations. Like, if you don't want any children, then I have to break this off. Because I need to have children. Yeah, I think that was it. That was... So, I don't know if that's a feeling, but that's the, the point where it originated. <clears throat> so, this moment of me asking him this question on the ferry <clears throat> is very, very um, important in this timeline. But it goes way, way back further um, because <clears throat> when I was little and playing with my dolls, my mom was just um, confirming me <clears throat> uh, within my role as a mom because I was playing the mom over my dolls. And then my baby brother was born when I was four and I started imitating my mom with my dolls. And well, everybody thinks that's cute, a little girl that is just pretending that she's a mom but it's all imprint all imprinting <clears throat> and confirming this pre-programmed um, um, a decision well I say decision but clearly it wasn't a decision clearly it wasn't a choice because if it's pre-programmed it isn't a choice and that's how it felt all the way through my life <clears throat> I went from A to B to B to A <clears throat> and I 
I didn't really know what I wanted because there was a time as a teenager that I thought, well, this world isn't the place to bring children into. <clears throat> so I better just don't have any children. Then I grew older and started dating. And all of a sudden the need for children came back without um, any real reasons, not following any logic. It was just a need. Then I met a man and we had a relationship for a couple of months. And we were clear on only having fun together and no future plannings. Um, then he told me that he had made his ex-girlfriend pregnant and well, my, my world didn't fall apart but I was just mad at him that he hadn't been taking his um, responsibility in this and how could he, how could he just bring a child in this world on a, a basis like that making his ex-girlfriend pregnant. So again, I, I didn't want to have any children with, with nobody. <clears throat> and so I went from no to yes to no to yes without any really reasons. And uh, well, when I met my husband, um, I, I went again to the yes. <clears throat> And, but also for no reasons, because it's just following this path that is already um, already written for me. And that's how it felt, because I, see, I say felt, but it wasn't really a feeling. Because I never had really strong feelings <clears throat> when it comes to babies. I never had this, oh, cutie, cutie, cutie. No, I didn't have that. It was just a physical thing. My body said yes or no at certain times. And that's the point I want to make, is that when we women are just looking at ourselves in self-honesty, we can see that there isn't any choice in having children or not having children. It's only a matter of, are you going to follow your pre-programmed nature? Or are you going to free yourself from that and make a real choice? Because that's the question. <laughs>